There's a thousand and one rules in prison. Prison for me was a mastery of the system of rules. And by the end of my nearly 21 months, I totally perfected a system of mastering the rules of prison. And in prison, I mean, there's a rule for everything. When you can take your shirt off in the rec yard, when you can't, where you can walk, where you can't. I mean, there's red lines all over the place, literally and figuratively. And so my process of prison was learning how to obey. I met Greg in November of 2020 in the federal prison camp of Montgomery, Alabama. Me and Greg ain't too much of a difference. He's just, he's real disciplined and I'm not that disciplined. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> he's just a regular good dude, man. He's real disciplined. I've never met a person like him. He's like a robot when it comes to discipline. Like whatever he does, he does it like a thousand percent. That's why he's successful though, because of his discipline. Being obedient, yes sir, yes ma'am, right away sir, right away ma'am, that was the most important thing I perfected in prison. I mean, I cleaned toilets every morning. Whatever they wanted me to do, I did. And I did it with, with alacrity, I did it with calm and eagerness, and I did my absolute best job. This is one of the best ways to describe Greg. So Greg is the janitor at the education department. And he talks to me and he tells me, you know, my goal is to make sure that that toilet is cleaner every day than it was the day before. And when I get there and it's dirty and it's messed up because, hey, it's prison, he's like, I look at that as a challenge. How many people do you meet like that? Do you think it's fun to clean a prisoner's toilet? As a leader, you have to have the humility to obey. You have to have the humility to be the servant that cleans the toilets. You have to have the humility to admit when you're wrong, to, to shut up, to say nothing, to step back, to be silent. All those things come from 21 months of obeying. What impressed me about Greg was his attitude and his demeanor. He wasn't snobbish, he wasn't nothing. He was just like, like a plain old guy. But I got a chance to know him, not just Greg Lindbergh, the billionaire. I got a chance to know Greg Lindbergh, the person. If prison teaches you to be humble, if it teaches you one thing, it teaches you to be humble. Right? I mean, what's more humble than being in a four by eight cell, getting up, cleaning toilets, and going to the bathroom with 20 other men in a disgusting, moldy, you know, big bug infested bathroom. And, you know, I was grateful for that experience. It taught me what it means to be obedient. And it taught me, you know, when you're not in charge, you're not in charge. Get used to it. If you're self aware, it, it, it teaches you humility. And, and that humility teaches you strength when it comes time to command. Uh, it, it's a whole other level of, of strength that you have.